Hi everyone, it's Sabrina Woodworth with Work Lessons 101. And today's question is, what route should I take, education or entrepreneur? Where should I invest my time? Um, so I get a lot of questions regarding education versus entrepreneurial. Um, and I don't know exactly why, but everyone seems to think these are two separate categories where they very, very, very much can overlap with each other. Um, Getting a university degree or education or going the entrepreneurial route does not need to be two different roads. Um, they can cross uh, in many, many different ways. Many times, um, you know, education kind of leads to you, leads to entrepreneurial. Um, but I think, you know, this, how I'm going to address this question is I'm going to ask yourself a few questions that you're going to need to self-assess yourself. So what are you willing to compromise on, I think is the biggest question. The word entrepreneur is so overused today uh, and there's so many people that claim to be entrepreneurs that, you know, I guess my definition of entrepreneur is a business owner to some degree, um, someone who is kind of set in their own path, you know, they're kind of paving their own road. Um, you know, if you're on Instagram and you sell ads on Instagram and you make a few hundred bucks a week, uh, you can claim to be an entrepreneur. And if you're a teenager, that's a great little side income, but that's not, it's going to pay your bills, especially when you have a family and a spouse, you need to think long-term, uh, making some of the decisions in your early twenties. Um, you know, it's never too late to, to fix things too. As you get into your thirties or forties, I'm now becoming an entrepreneur and I'm in my mid thirties. So, uh, my route, I did education, worked for an organization. I still work for the organization for over a decade, and now I'm working on my side business and making that profitable. Um, there is no one path. I think you need to understand and answer that question. What are you willing to compromise on it? I don't know a business owner or an entrepreneur that works 40 hours a week. They all work 60 hours plus, 80 hours, even 100 hours, some things, especially when they're starting off. They work weekends. Um, if you're an entrepreneur and you don't work weekends, uh, I don't know how successful you are or will be. I, you need to make sacrifices. You need to work very, very, very hard. Um, you need to bring something to the table. So what skills do you got? Um, education is a way for many people to gain skills, time management skills, um, you know, IT, computer programming. This stuff can be self-taught. Do not get me wrong. You do not need a degree necessarily for to pursue some of those interests. But many people, uh, education gives them that formal structure that uh, gets them to learn skills and, and put the time aside to learn those skills. If you're not a self-motivated person, it's going to be very, very hard for you to self-educate yourself because you don't have the discipline to do so. So I think that's the self-assessment. What are you willing to compromise? Are you willing to work your weekends? Um, can you teach yourself? Do you know how to self-educate? You need to dedicate yourself to, uh, dedicate yourself to lifelong learning, being an entrepreneur. Um, I personally think you need to dedicate yourself to lifelong learning regardless of any career path you choose, but especially if you're going the, engine, the entrepreneur route, um, business owner route, you're going to have to keep on the market and understand how to keep your market share and to grow your market share. Therefore, you need to understand your competitors, you need to bring skills, you need to always be on the ball. Um, as soon as you get comfortable, a lot of the time you lose your market share. So being an entrepreneur is not an easy route. It's a very difficult route. It's a lot of hard work and it's a lot of time, a lot of preparation and a lot of strategy, failure, and restarting. So if you're going to go the entrepreneur route, don't be naive. Don't look at these little things that make it look glorious on TV. Not everyone's can be a Steve Jobs or a Bill Gates or Mark Zetterberg. And the funny thing is all three of those guys dropped out of uh, university, but they were already successful by the time they dropped out of university. So even they had a backup plan. So you got to sometimes think big picture how much money you need to have the lifestyle that you want in the long run. Don't allow that fear to stop you by any means, but you have to think long term. So hopefully that question was, or that answer was helpful to your question. Um, please write to me via any of my social media sites or my website, worklessons101.com. Thank you.